Hey, Ethan, do you know what an alpha particle is? Yeah, an alpha particle is basically just a particle of two protons and has a atomic mass of four. So it has two neutrons. It's essentially... Alpha! Let's get right into the news! An alpha particle is a particle with two protons, two neutrons, and an atomic mass of four. Essentially, it is a helium nucleus. A beta particle is essentially an electron, a particle with insignificant mass written with a proton or atomic number of negative one due to its negative charge. A gamma ray is a high energy photon that often accompanies the production of other particles. It is written as having an atomic number and mass of zero. A positron is a particle with the same mass as an electron, but a positive or opposite charge. It can be written as having an atomic number of positive one and a mass of zero. I have a new boy. All of these are particles produced during radioactive decay. We will now be demonstrating the process of annihilation. These various particles have different interactions with the nucleus due to their charges. Breaking news! It's 1919 and there's been a huge breakthrough in the scientific community. Here's some exclusive coverage of the scientists leading the charge to the future. I'm Lord Rutherford. I'm responsible for observing the first nuclear transformation in 1919. I've been born in nitrogen 14 with alpha particles, which produced oxygen 17. I'm Irene Curie. I'm Frederick Julian, and we turned aluminum into phosphorus. We will now be just demonstrating a cyclotron, which is a type of particle accelerator where an ion is sped up in a spiral path using a magnetic electrical field. Back to the scheduled program after this commercial break. <laughs> hey Ethan, are you tired of being an electron? Yeah. Does it just suck having to just go around and around the nucleus all the time? Dude, yeah. Don't you just want to be something new? Something better? Yes. Well, lucky for you, all you gotta do is go through the process of electron capture. Okay. Alright, so basically what you have to do is fly straight into the nucleus, collide with the proton, and form a neutron and gamma rays. Doesn't that sound amazing, Ethan? Yes. Don't you want to jump at that opportunity? Yes, sir. Alright, then what are you waiting for? Some side effects may include death, nausea, hostility towards friends, agitation, depressed mood, suicidal thoughts, and turning into a neutron and releasing gamma rays. Your previous life in electron will be over, and taking this product signs off your life to the universe, increasing the universal entropy forever. If you're an electron and you're having doubts and you have any questions, please ask your local chemistry teacher for all the answers. Also, safe travels! <laughs> we'll now go back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, there's no more footage. I'm Ethan Chang, AP Chem News, signing out. Stay tuned for next week's video.